Thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs. Today we'll be going over how we painted this Brotherhood of Steel Paladin from the Fallout Core Box using just a couple simple paints that come in uh, most starter sets that you can find at your friendly local game store, games workshop, Barnes & Noble even. But to get started, we primed this one standard Mechanicus Gray. Then covered them entirely in plate mail metal from Army Painter. The eyes were done with Macrage Blue. As you can see the gun is black and where the green is we put down some wall flesh. We then washed the whole thing in Nuln Oil and then the eyes were done again with Teclas blue, a little bit brighter, the dot of Pallid Witch Flesh for white to give it like a little optic glint to it. The chest emblem was done with Weapons Bronze. Then the green, since we wanted it a little bit more glowy, we went over the darkened down wall flesh with Moot Green. Just a hint of white to give it some glow. We then brushed back all over the silver once again with plate metal silver. Touched a little bit of the gun to give it a metal look. We then put some streaks of white on the gun once again using pallid witch flesh to give it that sense that it was shiny and polished. Now. For the base, a lot of the bases on the Paladin vary, but this is a street scene, so we painted it all standard Mechanicus Gray. We then washed it with uh, Nuln Oil. We then highlighted the sidewalk with Army Painter's Ash Gray. We did the boards in a medium brown, XB88. Now after we did it with Nuln Oil, to give it like this dirty look and to finish off the model, we used Vallejo's German Camouflage Beige, World War II, and we dry brushed it all over the base and then we worked some of that color up through its legs to kind of show how the model starting to get dirty from walking around in the environment there. So it was actually a pretty fast model to paint, and we'll go ahead and get started on it. To begin, we've primed our model standard Mechanicus Gray from Games Workshop. You can other, use other grays, but I like that one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint it Army Painter Plate Mail Metal. And for that, I'm just going to take a brush that I've messed up in the past. I've got some squeezed out, and we're just going to work this in to our model. So we have on our silver, and that has dried. The next step is I want to do these little eyes. So I'm going to use a dark blue. So. Macrage Blue. And it's just going to be a quick little touch in there. Next step will be some of the black. Now the black will go for the various hoses we're going to find around him. You see that around his helmet. See the hose here has some texturing we can bring out later.
And while we're at it, I'm actually going to paint the gun stock black. But I'm going to let some of the silver peek out. And this will give the illusion that it's a black metal but with some shininess to it. We also have some hoses on the back here. So I'm going to paint these tanks and hoses black. Now I'm going to use some wall flesh and I'm going to touch up some little details on the gun, give it like a little power cell type look to it. Alright, I'll let that dry, and while that's happening, I'm going to take some Mechanicus Gray. When I look at this base, this looks like old asphalt and sidewalks broken down. So I'm going to take some Mechanicus Gray, and using a bigger brush to speed things along, Now I've got some wooden boards on the ground there, and I'm going to use some XV, XV88, so a medium tone blue. And we're going to pick that color out. Alright, so our character's all dry, but you know what? It's supposed to be an apocalyptic future, so let's tone this guy down. How did orange get there? Alright, so I've got some Nuln Oil, and I'm going to take a brush that I have long since destroyed. I'm going to wet it a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this liberally all over the model. And this will really go into the recesses of the model and also tint the ray surfaces a little bit darker. Get some of that green. I want it's going to be a glowy power section of the gun. And I want to make sure to get the base. This will go on the you know, the base is surprisingly well sculpted. Got a lot of cracks and details down there. Now something you should do is turn the model upside down. That way, when you're washing it, there can be chances that the liquid won't flow into some of these under spots. You'll get it like this little bubble of unwashed space. All 
There we go. All right. So now we're going to let this guy dry for a while and come back to him. So our known oil wash has dried. Now I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting here. So I'm going to go back to plate, metal, metal, plate, metal, metal. All right, let's do a little drop of that going here. And ah, here's the brush I want. I'm going to take this dry brush that's starting to get messed up. I'll just do Now I'm going to dry brush some of the silver over this little weapon. And so I want more, if you imagine the lights coming straight down on this model, to be shinier than the silver under there. So I'm going to leave that kind of dark. Highlight like the top of the knees, down the thigh on the face, shoulder pads. So you just look, say, where would the light fall? We'll do that. Then I want to grab some weapon bronze here. Ooh, it gushed out. And I'm gonna detail his little logo here. Then I'm going to take some techless blue, so just a brighter blue than what I did his eyes in. So I want it just a touch. Painted some green there as a base. So I'm going to use some moot green. And it's actually like a series of spheres, like a little coil smooshed together. So I'm just going to hit the top edge of each one of these sections here, kind of give it a glowy effect. And to make it look like it's extra reflective, we'll take some Palo Witch Flush, so basically a white. Now what we're going to do is dot, just put a little dot in the optic there. So you can 
can see where I put the dot there. I put a matching one around his right optic. And there, and that gives it the reflectivity of like a transparent armor or glass. And now I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the glowy bits on his gun. So just go down there. That gives them the sense that, you know, they're shining through a containment of some type. Just a touch more paint here. Better to add a little than add too much. Okay. So you got that. Now what I'm gonna do is given his weapon a look of black with a hint of metal. I want to make it look reflective, like it's shiny. So, just take the flat and get like a smooth line of white. Not everywhere, just a couple spots. And then white streaks. Ah, a little too much. Okay, a little light streak. And we'll add some to his little symbol here. Cool. A little shiny. All right, now something I was looking at his base. So this looks like a sidewalk right here. And you got the curb drop, and then this is supposed to be asphalt. So I want the asphalt to look a little bit darker. The way I do that is I take some Abaddon Black. And I'll have to clean out this dish pretty soon. Just take a smear of black. Put it in there, and then I'll take some canola oil, and then put a little drop of canola oil in, and what I'm trying to do is I want it to run, but I want it to cling to. So what I do is I mix in some more canola oil, and then I pull it up and see the viscosity of it running down. That might be there. Yeah. You can see most of it flows down. All right. So I'm gonna take just any junk brush and dab it in here. And you can see, unlike the straight null oil, it's actually clinging to the raised surfaces. Because asphalt's not completely black. You gotta think, okay, this is asphalt in the future, it's worn down. So let's darken up this gray. And let's still have some contrast with this over here. See, already for the base, let's try and get that different look. But, this sidewalk's still a little too gray. So I'm going to take some ash gray. I don't need much. I'm going to take my small dry brush. And we're going to get some load, some ash gray on it and get most of it off. And we're just going to run it across here.
All right, now we got a color, good color contrast between the asphalt and the sidewalk. And give his base a little interest. This is coming together quickly. Now we gotta wait for that to dry and then we'll move on to the next step. The final little touch I'm gonna do here is we can see on the base that we got our cracked and crumbling sidewalk, asphalt, and some boards right there. But you notice they still look shiny and they might be beat up, but they still look pretty clean for being in a post-apocalyptic environment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some German camouflage beige, World War II, as uh, a different type of khaki color. And I'm gonna take a dry brush here, and I already put some paint. I'm just gonna touch on here, get a lot of it off my dry brush. And we're gonna start hitting around. So you notice that does is it gives a look of dirt. So you go on top. And what I'm gonna do is also extend that up to my model. You gotta imagine my model's been walking around in that dirt for a while. See now, the amount I put on will depend on like how dirty I want it to look. Let's also cut down on the shine of my guy there. All right, and final step will be take some Abaddon black hair. And I'll take this brush. I'll just take any brush will do. What I want to do is clean up the edge of the base here. There's a little ring around here. And then make that black.
So I'm going to call it a day with him. So pretty easy and quick paint on the fallout. This is my first palette in here. Come together really well. Love the base they did on it. So thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs. We'll see you next time.